the victors valiant, the conquering heroes, and they call home the big house. Bathed in maize and blue, welcome to Ann Arbor, home of the Michigan Wolverines. This isn't your run-of-the-mill matchup. You get a couple of powerhouses, both ranked in the top 10, and statements can be made in this one. As we'll see, the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Wolverines will boot it away to start the game. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Longhorns offense will get the first swing of the game. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get him to football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play man coverage, you risk him running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways that this guy is very dangerous. Yeah, and you could tell he was trying to run with that football before he caught. That slant route, you stick your foot in the ground, cut towards the QB. That's one of those plays where he puts it on the money and you just try to make yards after the catch, but key word being after the catch. Takes a handoff. It's Baxter. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And he tried to do all he could. He broke one tackle, but my goodness, guys were hitting left and right in the backfield. This is a staple for any good defensive coordinator. They want their guys to swarm to the football, to gang tackle. If one guy misses, another one's there. No doubt. And the staple for the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coaches, block those guys. Don't watch them tackle on guys. Looking to take a shot. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Running toward the tape. Touchdown, Longhorns! And once he got loose, it was all over. Number seven. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game get himself established you make a couple throws you lead your offense down the field you score right off the bat could not have been a better start for that qb lining up to add another And the PAT makes it 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they put points up in electrifying fashion with an 82-yard toss for six. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. So Michigan's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. You know, David, both of these teams have a strong safety that can support the run and also disruptive in the passing game. I mean, it's just so nice to have a guy that's so physical, like a linebacker, but also can play like a DB. These guys are really revolutionizing defenses. They hit people, too. They are heat-seeking missiles. Nobody wants to run over the middle of the field against these guys. That's a bang-bang play, three-step slant. They rep this over and over in practice so they can go out and execute it on game day like that. And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. Now the play fake. Looking to the big tight end. A strike downfield. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. That big play is just what they needed. Now they have it first and 10 just outside the 40. Using his legs, it's Edwards. 
And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. And it's just simple. Simple first down run. Showing your physicality. Setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. To the air. It's Orgy. Let's hit fly on the move. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. And I know most offensive coaches, they're going to be thrilled taking all these 50-50 shots against man coverage. I don't know, though, if they want to keep testing that defensive back. He has been on fire. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Fast motion from the offense. On third and long, he has to throw for it. They're setting up the screen. Makes one man miss. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be. And now the OC is like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Morgan. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Well, give the defense credit on that one because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. Lost yardage on that last one. It's second and 11. They want to just keep throwing it. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass interference. Defense. defense trying to be physical in pass coverage took it a little too far and the offense will pick up the first down the give to the back and they try to run inside and there is nowhere to go defense is about firing off hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps everybody knowing where they're supposed to be you could tell the defense everyone was right where they're supposed to be nowhere to run Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Might as well stick with him. Aaron is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple. It's down at the 11. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Wide out in motion. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Quarterback extends the play. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Wolverine! It's a phenomenal effort on third down by the QB, but how about the blocking? When that play broke down, look at the receivers running routes. They all of a sudden turned around, and they went and got some blocks to help out their QB. you got to love it. He'll try to tack on one more. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. And here's the return. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. On the ground, it's Baxter. 
And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. What a great play by the linebacker. Do you talk about filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. To the air. It's Ewers. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Nice job to get it past the sticks, and they get him down at the 35. Have a day. We're in the first quarter, and already he's over 100 yards receiving. This is ridiculous. Obviously, this coaching staff, they made a concerted effort and decision to get this guy involved in the game on offense early. They are doing exactly that. From the shotgun, the inside give. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner power. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field, getting in the backfield. Just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, aw, shucks, or something. Aw, shucks, or something. They'll keep it on the ground. Shakes off the tackle. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Well, the defense wasn't expecting that. They had a lot of guys back into coverage. That was second and a lot of yards to go. And they got caught off guard. Not enough guys in the box to control that running back. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. To the ground to try to pick up the first. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And you can tell that play went nowhere from the start. That was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got the backfield so quick, the running back had absolutely no chance. The Longhorns will punt it away on fourth down. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. He's got great speed. Found a lot of running room before he goes out of bounds, and what a way to build a little momentum. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. From the gun, running back gets to give. And they make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter. It's been punch, counterpunch throughout the early part of this game as we take a look at the first quarter stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. Makes the catch and he's brought down. Our coach said you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, never complain. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. Back to throw, it's Orgy. Getting some heat. He's got his man. And they reacted well with the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. I love this guy because he brings a physicality to this Michigan offense. Bo Schembechler would have loved this guy. He would have loved to jog a few extra tight ends on the field, get the QB under center, student body right, and give this guy the football. He would have fit in perfectly with his running style. Man, he is hard to bring down. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. 
He's going to take off. How about that nice run from this junior quarterback? This is why everybody grows up and wants to be an offensive coordinator and not a defensive coordinator. Because he can do that. He drops back. He's supposed to pass. But you know what? I'll just scramble around, and I'll, I'll just go get plenty of yards and pick them up and put them down. And I'm faster than most of your other guys, too. So good luck stopping him. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Well, jet sweep pass. And the defense wrestles him to the ground. Great heads-up awareness by the cornerback on that play. He saw the receiver get the ball. He shot downhill and made a nice tackle. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. They keep pushing forward, down to the three, but now it's third and goal. Fires to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And he'll try it from the right. Hash and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Texas offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Here's the handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job by the whole defense. But how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. And the running game has been disastrous on the last couple of plays. They'll try to salvage the drive on third down. And his throw is incomplete. And how nice is it to have the home crowd growing absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affected the football game. The Longhorns will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, though. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. You've got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They feed him again. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Listen, I know that's not a huge game, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. A third down try for the offense. 
looking to throw for it. Fires to the wide out. Complete to the left. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator. It's a lot of DCs. They focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. This defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that. They're going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. On the run, it's Orgy. Complete downfield. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. The Wolverines with the first and ten. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there getting set. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the returner will be brought down. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Let's see what they've got on second down. Looking for a man. It's Ewers. And those two couldn't make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Zings it complete to the right. They just gashed the defense on that one, and they've got it down to the 23. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. The offense lining up for a first down play. He wants to throw. Gets it out fast. In the slant route, you got to put that foot in the ground and cut in in a hurry so you can create a little bit of separation from that quarterback. A nice job with the concentration, plucking that football, pulling it in. And the Longhorns looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. On second down, he'll let it fly. That one will be incomplete, and we are down to 10 seconds to go. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? So they won't get a touchdown, but a chance to put something on the board before halftime. And that 
is no good. The missed field goal leaves us with a double-digit game still sitting at 10. They'll come out and take a knee, and that should send us to halftime. No surprise. Looks as if they'll be content just to head to the locker room. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, it is tough to beat the big house when it's full and rocking as it is today in Ann Arbor. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas in the booth at Michigan Stadium. up the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Out of the shoot. Quick toss to the right. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rounding the football? Went to the running game on first down. Now second down. They'll try the run. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? A third and long coming up here. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. Really nice job there by both guys. The throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. On third down, offenses have their place. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job on the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. From the gun, running back on the move. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Now on third down after that run. They'll try to run for it. And the Wolverines have a first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Now they'll try to cash in this drive. First and 10 from the 50. Power football with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. Going to run it. It's Edwards. 
They'll give him a couple. That leaves him with third and eight. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Scanning the field. It's Orgy. Going to try to pop one on the screen. At the 35, he's open. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. Fires to the right. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close, and when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them, and guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Gets it inside the 30, down to the 27, a pickup of six. Yeah, and a great job by the offensive line, seeing the blitz, picking it up, and then it's on the running back. Running back finds a hole, gets a little bit of a crease, makes a nice run. Out. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? The snap sets up to throw. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. So they'll send out the field goal unit. They've already put one field goal on the board. This one will need to be well struck from 44 yards out. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And now the lead is extended a little far. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's golden. Lowers that shoulder, delivers the blow. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Grab behind the line. It's Bond. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? They'll try to put it in drive this time on second down for the 22. The play action fake. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count, it messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. Back to pass, it's Ewers. Complete. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. It's hard for an offense to win when you get in predictable situations. What a great job understanding where the first down marker is. Got to get a big game. Got to get that first down. Nice job. Great nose for the first down. The Longhorns come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Giving him his pads. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. are in the hurry up.
Grab behind the line. It's Golden. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. Leaves it with the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And that was a nice second down run and setting up third and inches. And now it's physical time, right? Like, they know you might run the football. You know you probably want to run the football. How can you be more physical? Sometimes bring some extra bodies, some extra tight ends in. Go to that play that you know is your short yardage play. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, and still short of the first down. Great job by the quarterback there. He saw the safety right on the run fake. So as the safety comes running downhill, he now knows he has the slant throw to his receiver on the outside. Line getting set on second down. Motion from the offense. Caught behind the line. It's Bond. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Really good defense. You know, you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets, and most importantly, those open field tackles and getting them on the ground as soon as they catch it. That's a major deal for defenses, and that was a good example there of it. Do they have another third down conversion in the bag? Already two for two on this drive. It's third and two. Caught in the backfield, it's Bond. Man, that is not the third down execution you want. Trying to get it to a playmaker so he can make plays. He gets nowhere, actually loses yards, and brings up a fourth down now. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. They'll go to the ground. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking for a man. It's Orgy. Finds his man. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Give to the back. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. And that's a live ball. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. It's a big mountain to climb, but the defense helping themselves out by getting that takeaway. They're going to need a few scores now, but you needed something positive to happen. You needed the momentum to shift, and I think the defense just did that by getting the takeaway. So now the Longhorns take over, and they'll send out the offense. 
There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. And instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. Well, they've got a ways to go if they're going to win this game. It's all about getting the drive started. They come away with a positive play to get this thing going. Let's see what they can do now. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. Wide receiver shows motion. Looking for space. It's Baxter. Shakes off the defender. Knocked down at the 27 after a pickup of five. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful in making me honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the run in the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. Dropping back, it's yours. No more time to throw. Quarterback is sacked at the 35. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard, and he did. And often is good, too. The most you can get to him, but great job by the defense rushing the quarterback, understanding pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. On third down, going up top. Got rid of it just in time. And the misconnection on third down. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. And they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion, setting up four. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth. A shot toward the end zone. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. And now you start to feel desperate because down by multiple scores, the clock running out, you know, two and a half plus minutes left in the clock. I got to do everything right now. I have no margin for error. My defense on this next possession, I have to get a three and out. I have to force a turnover. I have to do something to get me back in this ball game right now. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. At this point, the defense has little choice but to sell out to stop the run on second and seven. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Now it's first and 10 from the 46-yard line. Running back searching for a hole. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Now facing a third and long. Back to throw, it's Orgy. Got his man in the middle. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. Well, the defense knew coming into this one they had to have a plan for one of the best receivers in the country, so they're double covering him. He can't do anything else, and still they can't prevent this guy from making the catch and getting the first down. The Wolverines will line it up on first and ten. And with the game all but decided, this quarterback will take a knee.